Welcome to my Habits of Mind introduction, Don't Be Lucky, Be Successful. A lot of the time we get images like this which show us about being successful. Um, it looks like a ladder or maybe some stairs sometimes, but it doesn't really help us and it uh, doesn't help you or me achieve success. Unfortunately, there isn't a key on the keypad of even the most powerful computer that will give us success. Sayings are sometimes useful. What this one shows is true but it doesn't help us to actually be successful. This saying is also true, but what are the things, what are the ways, how do I know the right time? Sayings and mottos are great, but they don't help when we meet a hard maths question or we are wondering how we'll get the uni course we want or how we'll afford the car and house and what will I do if I lose my part-time job? At the end of the day, everything depends on how we think, how we decide, and our approach to problems. These are sometimes called dispositions. Some dispositions are not very useful at all. Sometimes when things are hard, we give up. Giving up is a disposition, but not a very useful one. But never giving up, especially about something you care about or love, is a great disposition. Insanity, in this saying, is the same as being inflexible in thinking. This is a disposition, but obviously not useful. The opposite is thinking flexibly. Thinking flexibly is a great disposition. This is an example of where, to solve a problem and be successful, flexible thinking was used. But there are many more dispositions which lead to success. How many are there? Well, a few years ago, a person was researching success and realized that in all the successful people who had been studied, there were common dispositions. His name was Art Costa, and he called the dispositions the habits of mind. This sounds like one of those school things, but once you know about the habits of mind, they can be used everywhere. At school is the most obvious, but now the habits of man, mind are found to lead to success at uni, in work, in business, in science, in family, and in community life. There are 16 habits of mind. They are ways of approaching your thinking that definitely work, but they're not a quick fix. You need to work on them, practice them, and understand them. We will help you during the next couple of years. Year 10s have seen a little of the habits from last year. Here is an example of where, after years of applying at least a few of the habits of mind, persistence, flexible thinking, thinking about your thinking, to name a few, um, some obvious skills were developed. Faster than you can do on the calculators, even using the shortcut. So give 
us a two digit number. 23. 23 is 529. 39. 39 is 1521. 88, 88 is 7. In many skill based activities, the best performers use the habits of gathering data through all the senses, applying past knowledge to new situations, precision, thinking flexibly, humour, an appreciation of wonderment and awe, remaining open to learning, being creative, and most of all, persistence. Can you see how these apply in this clip? So there are 16 habits of mind. Some of them you probably already use, but by getting good at using all of the habits at the right time, you can deliberately succeed without having to rely on luck. They are a set of tools to take you to any level of success you have the determination and the desire to reach. You'll be seeing a lot more of these. We think they're so powerful, we are introducing them across the whole college. Check out your diary for the full list.